Hi, this is Mark from Productive Computing, and in this video we're going to talk about the Productive Computing Notification Strategy. Actually, this came from some questions from our subscribers. Uh, first, we have a question here from IT Vortex. They say, can a pro user create a notification that a Go user will receive? They go on to say, if a pro user creates a new calendar event for a Go user, can a notification be created for the Go user to say, check your calendar, you have a new event, and the attached script could then take that Go user directly to the detail view of that new event? Similarly, another question came in with almost the exact same idea. In this case, Matthew says, if you have a plumbing business, for example, with five plumbers, and you want iOS notifications to go out to field personnel on FileMaker Go 17, this would be from the server, for instance, after a customer logs in via WebDirect and requests a new job. Okay, so let me do my best to answer both of these questions with some things I want to present here for you. First, I want to talk about traditional text-based notifications. So let's say you have users coming in from WebDirect and they are requesting appointments. They request a, an appointment for a certain day, perhaps for a certain type of job. Then WebDirect can figure out what type of job that is and direct it to the correct field personnel. In that same manner, you might have FileMaker Server running a server script every minute or so where it's looking through the entire FileMaker file and determining what records need to be notified for remote users. Or you could have a dispatcher using FileMaker Pro Advanced. Let's say they're in control of a calendar and they need to queue up notifications. Here's three examples using the FileMaker platform where you have a need to notify field personnel. So the problem is field personnel may or may not be running FileMaker Go. That's the first problem. Second problem is you want to make sure that that notification goes to the right field personnel. So here at Productive Computing, we've solved that both for our vertical market as well as our custom solutions using a service called Twilio. Twilio is a text notification service whereby you take a FileMaker record and create a script. You simply tell Twilio the number you want to send that information to and you queue up a text message for that number and Twilio does the rest. Then, because it's phone number based, it knows exactly which device to send it to. So what we do when that happens is we'll send Twilio the information and Twilio will convert that to a text message that includes a FileMaker URL that will then show up on that person's device. They can click on that URL and they'll be navigated to FileMaker Go directly. And not only will FileMaker Go open, but it can even bring them to the exact order or the exact appointment in FileMaker Go that was specified in the link. And because it's phone number based, it can go to individual texts and you have full control over which field personnel person it might need to go to. Okay, so that's the first scenario. And that's what I call traditional text-based notifications. And we feel this is the best way to do that initial alert to the field personnel. Now let's talk about the new feature in FileMaker 17, which is called local notifications. These are more individual in nature, and they can only be queued up by FileMaker Go directly. So the field personnel would have their iOS device, and they would interact with FileMaker Go. At this point, when FileMaker Go opens, you could have a script that's called upon opening that can check to see if anything needs to be queued up for notification on a local level. Or the user can interact with FileMaker Go and navigate to an appointment record, let's say, and they can queue up their own appointments for future reminders. And the advantage to this local notification is that FileMaker Go can either be in the background or not running at all. In fact, you can even turn off the iOS device, come back the next day and turn it on, and those notifications, assuming they span multiple days, will be queued up and still notify as needed. So even if FileMaker Go is not running, those local notifications will appear, and the user can then interact with that notification, and they will be directed to FileMaker Go, where you, the developer, have the option to also run a script associated with that notification and perform a certain function. Then the notification will disappear, and the user can work with Go from that point forward. So I hope this answers the question of exactly how notifications work. There's the initial text-based notification using Twilio. That's what we use here at Productive Computing. We find that to be a very effective way to notify field personnel 
on a very specific basis at that very moment. When you want to send that notification, you click the button and Twilio sends that notification right then and there to the individual personnel. Then to further enhance that, you can use the local notification more as a personalized reminder for that individual technician. They can either queue up their own reminders or based on an opening script when FileMaker opens, it can queue up the reminder that way. You could technically even run an on-timer script within FileMaker Go to constantly check the database when it's connected to see if there are any notifications that need to go out. So I hope that answers and clarifies things. Feel free to leave comments if you have your own ideas on how all these notifications work for you and your business. I hope you enjoyed this video. For more content like this, consider subscribing to our YouTube channel, liking our Facebook page, or following us on Twitter and LinkedIn. We also have a monthly newsletter describing the latest happenings here from Productive Computing, as well as other industry-related news. Thanks for watching.